What's up guys? My name's Devin. This is my 1995 Chevy G10, half ton. Originally stock, converted into a weekend camper van. Got 80,000 miles on it. Original. Got a 4.3 V6. All pretty stock. Didn't really have to do anything when I bought it. Just threw a new radi radiator in it. And some new plugs and wires and called it good. Bought it for $1,500, which is a steal, I think especially because it's got the barn doors. You got the nice rocket box up top for storage and the Thule racks. Pretty much for all my soft goods and stuff like that, sleeping bags, backpacks, the big stuff, you know, keep them out of the interior, make it nice and clean, lots of room. Got a bike rack on the other side of the rack there. Just picked up a back ladder, like a van ladder, and we're gonna mount on the other side to make, be able to access the bike rack because it's pretty tall and I'm pretty short, so it's hard to get a bike up there. Got the uh, PVC pipe there for any fishing poles and uh, a couple hooks. You can throw up a tarp, awning out a tarp if it's gnar gnarly out and raining and all that. So the interior I did all myself. It was uh, originally just stock metal, which is great because that's kind of the plan I, I wanted. See, so yeah, I insulated all the walls, the floors, and the doors. Um, before putting up the quarter inch side panels here. Side panels, all the panels have this nice warm felt on them which is actually really simple and turned out really well. I just uh, cut the panels to fit before and just spray adhesive the, the felt on and screwed them in and it worked out pretty well. Pretty easy, I think it took an afternoon or so. I chose a nice low profile carpet um, with the mindset of just keeping it clean um, it's an indoor-outdoor carpet, so it'll be really easy to clean up any muddy boots or anything like that. And uh, it's directly onto the wood down below, so any uh, liquids that get spilt or anything like that isn't going to soak into any soft goods and mold or anything like that. So it's, it's built with that in mind, keeping it clean, and basically just having it be a dirty spot. As you can tell, my newest addition and concept kitchenette I'm building here. Uh, it is a TV stand at the moment, but it's mostly here just to occupy the space and give me a general idea of what I want in the future. It's really hard for me to conceive and to measure out and build something without having some sort of template first. So I threw this in here just to give me an idea of where I want everything to be and how things are gonna function. I'll kind of show you this right now. Basically, it's just stock storage underneath. Nothing too special. Got the countertop up here, which swivels out. We got a uh, marine seat bracket, swivel bracket under there. So this kind of poses as a table uh, and a cooking space, whatever you want to do. Sink, pretty straightforward. When I do rebuild, I'll install some sort of faucet in the corner there, either a hand pump, non-mechanical one, or a non-electric one, or do an electric pump um, and just really ball out. This guy also swivels all the way around. That way you can uh, you know, set up a laptop and lounge out and watch a movie or just have it as a side table if you need. Under here is just storage at the moment. So we got some silverware, coffee maker, inverter, just some daily. As like I said, this is just temporary. So like my gray water bin is a gallon jug of water. But in the future, this will be expanded and quite a bit bigger. So I'll be able to have room for not only useful utensils and storage, but also nice gray and clean water storage as well. This thing will just get junked. I'll use that as measurements, salvage the bracket, the swivel mount inside, and just rebuild it with nice veneered plywood, stain it like I did most of the other interior wood, like the bench seat. So we'll move on to the bench in the couch position right now. We've got a three inch high density foam mat on top, which is pretty comfortable. We got storage underneath. It swivels up. You can see the raw wood here. And I stained all the wood black up top to kind of match everything else. 
Nice long piano hinges, really add more stability to the function. Three relatively large storage bays. Now to convert, it's quite simple. All you really do, get this out of the way, Got two handholds here, slide that bay out. And that folds out. The back moves up into an upright position to give a few more inches. And it's about the size of a twin, I think. It's about six feet long, so I think a twin might be a little bit longer, but I'm only 5'8", so. How it's mounted and everything, I got a piece of angle iron running this length here, 90 degree angle iron on both sides. Um, that actually, see here, so it's mounted to the wall and the vertical struts as well as screwed into the wheel well. So it's uh, pretty secure. So that gives a nice base for the bench seat. However, I will need to mount the wood into this angle iron. As of right now, it, uh, it is not mounted in there just so I can take it out really quick if I need room because I've been moving a bunch. So this whole unit actually is in three separate pieces. So it's really easy to take out. It's kind of the functional idea behind it is, you know, it, it doubles as a bench seat and a bed, but within a matter of five minutes, you can have it be a complete cargo van again. That's kind of the idea about behind the whole van is that opposed to having it be a livable unit, it's more of a weekend style camper van. So it's, it functions as a daily driver you can get a group of people in here, go to the beach, what have you, as well as stay the night or the weekend in a parking lot or at the campsite. So this is kind of the cargo area, so nice and room, roomy for a large tote to coolers or anything like that. When you hit the beach, you want to saute up some steaks or what have you. This folds down, gives you a nice cooking surface. We got storage on the other side, box open. To store all your junk and wilderness books, plants, and all the shelving bottoms come out. So, including this one here, so you can access this bay down below where I keep my spare uh, my tools, and my car jack, and all that kind of stuff, jumper cables. Or if you had something long, I guess you could take out both and uh, conceivably have access to this whole length as long as you can stick it up in there. So it's on both sides. There's a clean shot of it without anything in here. Pretty basic. Got the speakers in set. Little four by sixes there. So in the future, depends on what direction I go. I like that it's a weekend style camper van. It, uh, allows me to be very versatile. However, I do have aspirations to full-time it, either while I'm in school or out of school. So if I do full-time it, there'll have to be some more mo modifications done to make that more feasible. But, you know, I'm in school right now, and so ideally, if I do full-time it, uh, this would be the best time because I have access to the college campus pretty much at all hours. Um, bathrooms, showers, uh, Wi-Fi, and I can park relatively close to campus um, and use their Wi-Fi within my van. Um, I don't know about sleeping there, but so a lot of the amenities would be satisfied while I'm in school. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm on a lease right now, but I still have some time left during school. I'm looking to take it on some pretty sweet trips this summer. Uh, it's kind of the idea behind it. It's a nice road trip van, the big V6. It's got a an overdrive gear, so it gets some decent gas mileage on the highway. My girlfriend and I are planning a two-week trip down to, well, we're going down to Cali, uh, Burbank, California, for my sister's wedding. And then we're heading up for there, up to Zion and southwest Utah. And we're taking, I think we're going to be doing about two and a half weeks on the return trip. So we'll hit up Zion and Bryce and all those awesome places down there, do some rock climbing if it's not too hot, this is going to be in August, uh, and then head up north into southern Idaho, go check out like Crater of the Moon and 
all those uh, other places. If anybody has any recommendations for Idaho, because I've got maybe two spots I'm thinking of, and we, uh, we have about a week and a half there. So any suggestions in the comments would be awesome. There'll be a link to my YouTube page on this video. Please feel free to subscribe or just check out my other videos or what have you. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed checking out the van. I hope it shows that doing a do-it-yourself camper van is possible and relatively easy. Um, all these parts were either recycled or gotten very cheaply. Uh, I probably put maybe a thousand dollars into the interior, so it's it's doable. You just have the tool, have to have the tools, and uh, the confidence, I guess. Anyways, thanks.